Hi everyone, it's Mandy from First Parish in Cambridge and Hideous Hedgehog. Hideous has had kind of a tough week. I wonder if any of you have had a tough week. He had an accidental bath when we were playing catch with him and he ended up in the sink. So he had to have a special brushing and then a little shake out so that his hair would come back into order. So after his tough week, I wanted to tell Hideous a story and I hope you'll listen too. This week's story is a wisdom story called, It Could Be Worse. Once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a farmer and his family and they live pretty far out on a dirt road and they had lots of farm animals and they had a kid. One day the in-laws were coming to visit so they were getting everything ready and the farmer really thought I'm kind of worried about this. I think it's going to be crowded. I think it's going to be noisy. I need some advice. So he went to see the rabbi. And the rabbi heard the story that they were coming to visit and sat and thought for a minute. Hmm. What would be helpful? I know, said the rabbi. Do you have chickens? Oh, of course I have chickens. I'm a farmer, said the farmer. Ah, take the chickens and bring them in the house. And so the farmer did, not really understanding how this would help at all. Well, once his in-laws and the chickens were in the house, it seemed actually worse. Things were loud with a lot of clucking and there were feathers everywhere. So the farmer thought, I need some advice and went back to the rabbi. And the rabbi heard this and sat for a minute and thought, hmm, what would help? I know. Do you have any goats? Well, the farmer said, I'm a farmer. Of course I have goats. And the rabbi said, bring them in the house. Well, the farmer went away a little bit confused again, thinking, I'm not sure how this is going to help. I brought the goats inside the house. Then things were much worse. Not only was there clucking, but there was also buying and mying and goats jumping up into the middle of the dinner table and still feathers everywhere. So the farmer said, now I really, really need advice. Well, the rabbi is the wisest person I know. I'll go ask the rabbi. And so he went back and asked the rabbi again what he should do. And the rabbi heard about all the noise and all the hubbub and sat and thought a minute about what might help. Hmm. I know, said the rabbi. Do you have any sheep? And the farmer said, I'm a farmer. Of course I have sheep. And the rabbi said, bring your sheep inside the house. Well, at this point, the farmer really was starting to question the wisdom. But he went home and he took the sheep out of their pen and brought them in the house. Now, not only was there clucking and baaing and maaing and goats in the middle of the dinner table, but the house smelled really bad. 
the farmer said, all right, this is much, much worse. I need advice. So he went back to the rabbi. And the rabbi listened to all of this and sat and thought for a minute. Hmm. What would help? I know. Go home and take the chickens and the goats and the sheep back outside. And so the farmer did. And while he was taking the chickens and the goats and the sheep back outside, inside everybody else was cleaning up. And by the time they all got back inside with their in-laws, the house seemed really peaceful and spacious and quiet. And that was much, much better. What'd you think of that, hideous? That was better than a lot of the rest of your week? Well, I'm glad to hear it. I hope that story helped. And I hope everybody has someone to help them right now. Whether they're next to you or whether they're talking to you from a screen. See you next week.